What is the Moncure land plan? So um, the county planning department um, and and the county and the county commissioners hired a consulting group to uh, help with the situation that we have out in Moncure. We're aware that um, the Moncure mega site and Vinfast electric vehicle manufacturers coming out to Moncure. We wanted to get ahead of this, and so you know we have um, we're working on a UDO for the county planning as a whole, but uh, Moncure with this electric vehicle manufacturer is, is going to present us with some, some new challenges. So um, this, this consulting group along, they interviewed uh, citizens, the county planning department, the county planning board members, the county commissioners, and some other local experts. And they're, they're like, what, what does this area need? What is, um, what is the best long-term plan for the Moncure area? And so again, you know, we have this giant manufacturing facility Certainly, at some key intersections, there's going to be uh, uh, commercial nodes, and um, we're going to have to have varying degrees of density as far as uh, residential is concerned as well. And, you know, some um, support facilities like daycare and uh, hotels and, and, and restaurants and guests, so all sorts of things. <clears throat> so, um, uh, you know, we're looking at thousands of workers coming to this area. I mean, they're literally talking about 7,500 workers to um, staff this uh, uh, plant. And <clears throat> are they all going to live in Moncure? No. I mean, they're going to be living in Sanford, Holly Springs, Pittsburgh, Apex, Cary, whatnot. They're going to live in the surrounding areas, but there's going to be a need for um, uh, rooftops in the immediate Moncure area as well. So, um, uh, DOT has already widened the roads. There's been some uh, property loss due to eminent domain. Um, the Moncure land plan protects the uh, local waterways, some of the uh, environmental um, uh, amenities in the area, and uh, it really, it really, they've made a conservative effort um, to plan this thing in a way that's not going to be um, as disruptive as it could be. Of course. We have the NIMBY factor, okay? There's a lot of people that move to the Moncure area uh, that we're trying to get away from the hustle and bustle of Cary and Apex and Holly Springs. And, and of course, you know, once they move there, they don't want anybody else moving there. Um, and then we have long-term residents, too, that have been there for a long, long time, and, and uh, they're not particularly pleased with, with everything that's happening. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's with, with VenFast coming, the expectation of, of uh, that all remaining as rural as it once was is, is not likely. I mean, um, we are actually talking about a population in all of the Moncure zip code, what is that, 27559, um, th that population is roughly 2,000 people right now. That, that is probably going to jump up to easily 20,000 in, in a decade or less, and uh, it's just it's just amazing. And there's some residential subdivisions that have already been approved, um, and uh, there's just going to be a lot of people moving to the area. Um, yeah, they're talking about the population easily doubling over the next few years, and maybe even quadrupling uh, uh, real soon. So um, we know that you know the people that. Um, of Moncure want to keep it the way it is, they might have to move elsewhere. If you're looking for that same kind of lifestyle of what Moncure is or was recently, I think Bon Lee, Bennett, Bear Creek, even Goldston, uh, those areas, if, if, if they're willing to move further west, but that could be a longer commute. They might be uh, working in RTP, RDU, Raleigh Cary area. Uh, though it may be a bitter pill for some to swallow, um, they'll probably do very well if they decide to sell and um, with, with any purchase that they've made in Moncure.